We're going to go over lesson one, five from the lesson book, mean, median, mode. So we'll talk about uh, these um, numbers that are called measures of center. And so in the lesson book, if you look at the lesson book, um, there's an introduction about um, how we talk about this word average. And so normally we talk about um, average and we learn this in elementary school, middle school, high school, and you hear people talking about this idea and concept of average. And so what we do in this lesson is we're going to look at numbers and we're going to uh, try to quantify or measure where the, kind of the middle is. And so um, if you read your lesson book, there's an example of people who are gathered um, kind of in a line and you can see how they're scattered around um, and looking at uh, um, these people, how would you describe where the center of the line is? All these people are scattered around and this idea of trying to find the middle is what we would do with a whole bunch of numbers if we had a set of numbers. Um, and so you're kind of walking through that. Make sure you read that and look at um, this discussion of where the center is. And so in mathematics or in statistics, um, we are able to measure where the center of some values are using three different techniques. Each of those is a separate different measure, and each of those measures something a little bit differently, but they all are what's called a measure of center. So when we look at that idea here, this sounds complex, but what we're really talking about is mean, median, and mode, and they measure the center differently. Um, and so we'll look at that, how to do that first. And so here are some examples here. The mean is the, or the arithmetic average is what we traditionally have known already. You add up all the values and then divide by how many values you have. And so that's a pretty straightforward calculation that we have there. Um, and so you can see the example and then you would round if it's not perfectly. And the idea is you're just putting all it all together and sharing out amongst the number of objects that are there. Add that up and divide by 5 in this case. In this case there's 6 divided by 6. The median is another measure of center. This one is, um, involves a couple of different steps. Um, but for sure before you find the median you have to arrange the data in order. Right, so here's the original data and put in order, and then the median um, is what we call the middle number. What is the number right in the middle of all the data? And so in this case here, you can see 23 is right in the middle, so that is called the median. And so that 23 is the median. Now, what if there's an even number of data points, like there's six here? Where is the middle in this case? So looking at something like this here where the middle is, it's a little bit harder. So there are six numbers. So the middle is actually somewhere in between those numbers. And so it's right here. And so what's the middle of 18 and 23? First think about that. Imagine what's the number right in the middle of 18 and 23? That would be 20.5. That's not always easy to calculate in your head. And so um, there's a technique. What you do is just add the two numbers and divide by two, and that gives you the middle number. What you're really doing is finding the average of the two middle numbers to find the middle value, and that's called the median. And then you have also what we call the mode. The mode is probably the, the one that uh, most students remember, if you can kind of put it together. Mode is most frequent. Mode is the number that occurs the most, and that's... Um, what we'd call the measure center if we use the mode. So in this case, 18 occurs twice, so that 18 is the mode. In this example here, you see 10 occurs three times, and then you also see that uh, 7 occurs three times. And so in that case there, 7 and 10 are the modes. And sometimes we would say that is bimodal. Um, that would be a term you may come across. And so that's our short introduction to mean, median, and mode. And that uh, we'll go ahead and look at the rest of the lesson book assignment on the next video.